Here we go. Buckle up, boys and girls. We got a, a special one ahead of us today. It's, um, it's gonna be a, a, a fucking an interesting one, to say the least. Okay, so Oh, I really don't like how he died. Oh, yes! First thing to look at a Monokuma file. Uh, he is dead. He's dead. It's, it's confirmed. Why was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma flush factory? The estimated time of depth is going to be noon sharp. That doesn't mean he died at noon. Well, <laughs> that doesn't mean the murder technically took place at noon. He could have, like, bled out or something like that by noon. Ugh. Not only is there a spear stabbed into his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds to each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yeah, not at all a, a fucking brutal death. What a tragic situation. Just reading this m is making me depressed. Mm -hmm. Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Oh, wait. Is there something? Is there something? Is there something? What's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stabbed in the stomach, but there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. For more laceration on his left arm and knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Mm. Guess I'll find. Oh, if I look around, that's what the investigation is for. Don't worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. Mm. We can discuss it later. Right now, my only chance is to investigate. So we should investigate first. See? If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Now let's start the area surrounding Nagato's body. We should start at the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, the area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can properly investigate Nagato's body. I never thought I've had to investigate Nagato's body. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. Oh, okay. There's, there's a lot to unpack with this. Someone missing? Oh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't there six people alive including me? Right. So, first things first. I'm actually really interested in why the fucking Monokuma plush is, like, impaled also. Monokuma's dead. There's blood coming out of his stomach. Hey. No response. He's dead, Jim. Just kidding! I'm not dead! Is this one of the life-size plushies that are being produced at, the f at this factory? <laughs> if you're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're stuffed animal, too. 
Don't put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What the heck? What, what are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Why do you do it? You know, like, you got stabbed going through the trouble of dirtying the hole of blood. Do you try to imitate Nagato's body or something? What are you saying? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil. Uh, he's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. What's this? You seem more pissed than usual, DJ's Monami. But you better watch what you say. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I, I won't give in to your threats. I'll fight you until the very end. I can't lose. Definitely take back the seat of world supremacy for Monokuma. White supremacy. Looks like those annoyances are gone. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Did the killer ever done this? So, is this Nagato's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Never expected Nagato to die like this. So he's spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. Great, so... Okay, so... Smart person is dead. Like, there's no mistaking it. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. When I was now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. Ugh. Now I need to investigate everything about the body that catches my eye. You know, let's start with the, the, the big boy. You know, the spear. Why is there blood on the whip also? A spear of a flashy ornament on it is impaled deeply into Nagato's stomach. There's no way around it. That looks like the fatal wound. Man, if only we had, like, a nurse here or something that could help us. Oh, wait, he was a murderer. <laughs> what's this? Oh my, what's this? Such a strange-looking spear, isn't it? The cord extends from the tip of the handle. And there's an iron weight attached to it. I see, I see. You used a, a cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is your first time looking at this, too? Mm. Of course not! Um, this is the Spear of Gun- Spear the Gun Gear. Gun Gun Gear. Spear the Gun Gear. Spear the Gun Gear, right? You definitely just came up with that now. Hey, hey! By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? Um. I feel like I saw it at Nezumi Castle. What? Nesmi Castle? What the hell? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you mice! Damn you all to hell! I see, even he doesn't know ins uh, what's inside that castle. But more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle... Looks like that part has blood on it, too. For some reason... This section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Jacking mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Nezumi Castle. Maybe, it might be better if I confirm that later. Spear the gun gear. I don't care if it says of, it is the to feet. Oof, oof. Oh. Sorry, I just... Burnt rope? Oh, I didn't even notice this part of it. Nagato's right wrist is tied with rope. It looks like the tip of the rope burned off. Could this be a result of the fire? That's weird. The rope is burned off like this. Why are Nagato's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze?
But for Nagato's legs are tied up. His rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. Thanks. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. I mean, the killer didn't just tie up Nagito, they also stabbed his legs. Why would a killer do something like that? Damn it. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge toward him. Or they might have been torturing him. To torture? Huh? They just want to kill him. They could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you disregard a spear in his chest, the upper wounds were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagito's body were from the killer torturing him. If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt the killer ha must have had a deep grudge towards Na Nagato. Right. Using them die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if he had a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? Left hand has on his upper left arm. His legs and his legs and right hand have stab wounds. But this one, this wound looks like a slice. That's probably the reason the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his upper wounds. Well, Gross doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Super difficult. Mm, there's something strange. Strange what? See? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think. That is blood from when his left arm was sliced, but doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood can reach when it's splattered. Nah, that... I don't think that's how it works. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... Something else that's strange? Flip it over and look at the back of his hand. Here, there's also blood, but only in the, above the middle joints of each finger. You're right, why is it only on this part? See? See, just as I said, it, it's strange, right? Hmm. I win! What? <laughs> yeah, sure, you win. It was definitely strange. What did the killer do to make this blood splatter like this? Like how you can actually kind of see that part of it on the on the body. Right, anyways, let's, all you have left to check out is the face and knife. So let's check out the knife. Knife stabbed through Nagato's right hand. It's fucking so brutal, man. Fuck. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? Shout out to Frexter. Um. This knife. It must be from the military base. Military base. I don't know if you mentioned it. You're right. It looks like a survival knife. Well. By the way, it seems the wounds on his legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means after Killer's finished stabbing Nagato's legs and left arm, he stabbed the knife through his right hand. Just fuck me, man. They cannot be. Then they finished him off with a spear. Oh, cool. Does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with the knife. Why do you need to use the spear at all? You are right. That is definitely strange. Is there a reason they had to use it? Reason to use a spear, huh? One last thing. He must have been in great pain. He had this agonizing look on his face when he died. Not his cover with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagato from screaming for help? This is bad. Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over doesn't help either. Do you think his mouth is covered with duct tape? Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. Mm. I got a minute! Sorry, excuse me. Jockey moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagato's face. Once with movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Hey, what are you doing?! It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. I'll put it, right, put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey, hey. Putting the tape back is an issue. You ungrateful swine, you're gonna get cursed. Mm. The blow on Nagato's face. It looks like it came mostly from the slice on his left arm. If that's the case, mm. it's no use. She's not listening. Hey, hey. But the blood splattered on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well? Duct tape has crinkles like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth, right? 
Nagato was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. See, what's wrong with that? Which means Nagato's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. What's wrong with that? Is there something we really need to worry about? I think that means the killer wasn't trying to get information out of him. The killer was just doing it to be a fucking sadist. Uh, I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, this might be some kind of clue, too. I should remember it. I guess we're done with the area surrounding Nagato's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer responsible. I have to investigate his death so I could find his killer. Am I, am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Well, that is... Okay, so we got... Fire grenades and a lighter. I'm gonna check out the lighter. Well, this is... It's an oil lighter. This is where the curtains have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here... Just kidding. An oil lighter. Somebody probably wanted to keep warm. Hey, do you think... Now, this is just a hunch. Do you think that's how the fire fucking started? Is a most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Why would you even say it? Well, oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? Chasing that the curtain was set on fire. Okay, so I think I know how the the fire happened. There's a bunch of stack of stuff on the door, so it uh, knocked down, and since all the stuff was flammable, it's like a domino effect leading to the fucking fire. And since the oil light was still on the floor. In the oil layer, huh? I think the killer set up some sort of trick with it. You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. He got the fire to destroy evidence? That's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set fire to their crime scene, but. There's like a bunch of plastic bottles. Looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably... Those fire grenades that we used to put out the fire. They weren't actually that useful in the end. Fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Nevertheless, as evidence really isn't all that strange. Oh, so... Uh, besides talking to people... Eh, I guess it's time to talk to people. Um... It mattered for Gundam's killing and for... Gundam's killing and for Mekons. Looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? Oh. The time! Looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time of death was noon sharp. It was noon. What were we doing at that time? Mm. What are we doing? Well, right now it's 12:30 p.m. It's also the clock function. That means Nagato died 30 minutes ago. Huh? Happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. Mm. Uh, if it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Since whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagato's killer. Not right. So if you think there's a reason why they use the spear as the weapon, as the killing blow, like I think if I probably like hung it to something and I just slowly like fell down or some dick like that. I don't know. But this could be like when Nekomaru died. The killer could have used also some automatic kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so he would have needed time to prepare. Right. Whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs is suspicious. Huh? But none of us have an alibi for that time! That's when we all split up the search for the bombs! Yeah, that's the problem. It could be. 
any one of us. Sonia! So just as I thought. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. Now we should finish the class trial, then we can think about what will happen after. Like... I'm not freaking out or anything. I'm not, uh, I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Motokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Well, what's gonna happen? The wrong school trip's gonna end, right? We can finally go back home! Carefree till the end. I mean, you don't think it'll happen? Well, yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Like overtime, if you will. Hey, hey. What do you mean, something? Shut up. Making Shut us kill each other, you know? What could be worse than that? Damn it! I don't know. This is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with a countdown. Anyway, like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. Think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Yeah, I know. Then don't bring up strange stuff like that. One of us killed Nagato in such a cruel way. <laughs> it's too bizarre. I can't do anything except laugh. Honestly, that's... that's fair. She looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happens? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yep. Yeah, about that sprinkler. That's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well? You can see a grind... a, a, a gir fucking girder right next to it. Right? There. Hmm? Can you see that red streak? Huh? Yeah, I definitely see it. Looks like smaller line on the ceiling girder. Is that blood? Oh, why? How is there blood on the fucking ceiling? Whatever. Blood. The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood can get up there, right? Plus, it's a straight line. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Ding! No, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. Killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagato. There should have been another reason as well. If not, he wouldn't have gone to the trouble of tr tying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So, what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. Yep! Mm. If you're- yes! You guys don't have to to constantly follow me. Well, this is probably what was playing the music. This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is this here? Maybe. It looks like that weird music was playing from there. Hmm. You know, the music that was blaring when the fire started. Yeah, you're right. Looks like it it's busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. No mistaking it. That music was playing from that playing from the MP3 player. I would disagree with that, but why is the killer playing music from this? Ooh, tons of books. Is this anything new here? A bunch of books stacked on top of each other. Apparently, you can move with poetry and photos. The sprinklers completely soaked them. I can't even turn the pages anymore. It's not like I'm missing much. Monokuma panels is definitely the suspicious thing here. A lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the current back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. They should have been neatly put away. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, the tip over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... It's fine, I'll open it slowly. Well, that's not the problem. See, so it'll be fine. With those words of cunning. Brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh, it's not opening. If there's someone blocking the door, I could barely open it. I knew it's a trap, so you just stop it, okay? Did I tell you it'll be fine? This guy has one more force. We have to open it slowly! 
I ignore their protest, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Bam. Could it be... Was what? that it? There's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. The Monokuma panels are tipped over, starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Dominoes! The other tip panel that is the only one that's neat and orderly. So, Isn't this clearly strange? Strange, that means we can speculate this was done intentionally. Okay, besides the monochroma panels... Akane, what do you have to say? Um... Am I ever gonna kill you? Hey, hey! Like... Yeah, okay, so that's the same shit. Mm. Looks like the side could blue soak because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. Looks better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out the fire. Hey, hey! There's a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside while we were throwing grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and be and all become wet and become all wet and soggy. <laughs> Miss Sonia's all wet. He's all drenched and soggy. Ha <laughs> hey, hey. You're thinking that, huh? Of course not. I wasn't thinking that at all. Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. Whoa. You're screwing with me? Yes. Yes. Oh my screwing! How lewd! Hey, hey, hey. Don't look at me with such fearful eyes. Only imagine it for a second. <laughs> Kazuichi, no! Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. Oh. Ooh. What else is there to investigate? Besides talking to people. Great if people might have actual stuff to say. Kazuichi, what weird shit are you gonna say now? Well, even though I did say I was gonna friggin' kill him. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> There's no way I would have actually done it. I was just upset, you know? Jeez. Think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Looks like Sonya's focused on investigating the warehouse. This reminds me, something I need to ask her about. Now we've pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to ask her. Hey, Sonya, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I want to talk about... I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagato set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It's alright, it's not a bomb! Why well, you know that the bombs were a fake? Um. Oh well, that's not all either. When you're looking for the bombs, why are you at the military base? How far are you supposed to be searching the central island? Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. What were you... Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my! It cannot be! Do, do, you, do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding. I am not to kill her. Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! S Sonya? I am sorry! I'm terribly sorry I was panicking. I should calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagato planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? That is. And as, as I suspected, the bombs disappeared. And I thoroughly, I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. As you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen. Because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagato brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How'd you find out that the bombs at the military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. What? I, see. I, see. I thought one of the bombs. Uh, I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. I thought I could use one of them. Use them. Use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. However, that plan was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. God damn it all to hell! <laughs> I see. So that's why.
by you, the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... If those bombs are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagato took them. And that's why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think that was strange when Nagato blew up the hotel lobby. Um. The bomb was real, I cannot stop thinking about it. Bomb for a reflection, it might have been Nagato's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real as well. So the Nagato's actions were extremely calculated. And the problem is, his reason for doing it. Um, With this, I have explained everything. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. Alright, so that's all, that's the entire warehouse explored. Hold it. You look worried! Oh, fuck, hold on. Oh, I'm having chest pains right now, just... Fuck! I'm having a heart attack, alright, cool. Yeah, I am. Well? In a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. I mean, it's good to investigate other places as well. Should I be right? There are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned. The plushy factory next door. Nezumi Castle, where the spear originally came from. And Nakato's room, too. I don't understand the reason for his actions. I need to know more about him. Mm -hmm. Christian Devers have already finished investigating. Can you hear me? Hey, you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas, too? In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. I see, I see. Great, I was just thinking about pro proceeding to another area. It seems we had the same idea. Huh? Is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice, there aren't, there aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough pieces things together. We could search for them in other areas, probably. Mm. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in the area, other areas either, we have to give up completely. Y you really, you don't really understand that. Hey, hey! It's okay if we leave this place? Yeah. It's okay? No time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagato's killer. If you don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed on this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, the truck looks like it came from the effect. Yeah, the truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagato must have brought it from there. However, that there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Oh yeah, look, I'm really doing it here. Okay. Um. Oh! Hi! <laughs> um. This room is so weirdly structured that I didn't think anyone was in here. Well, let's check the fucking laptop. That reminds me, I saw Nagato's video message on his laptop. He's still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how do you time his message so perfectly? It looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. Why do you have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. At the time, Nagato should have already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right, besides that video, there might have been that on his laptop that could be used as a clue. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use, it's locked. You know I can examine this. Well, if it's locked, maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. My. I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. While I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off at the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think that the group was forcing us to kill each other would... Do you not think that... What the fuck? Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing. A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. 
So let's just rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on! There's a bomb inside. He's wanting to explode if we care to sing Mescafet. Either way, it's all gravy. Oh, please, what the hell does that mean? Stop! There's no bomb! You don't have to just pick up me up, see? All you'll feel is the soft weight of cotton! See. You're right. However, then where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. Hmm. I'm gonna give you guys a hint that you should... No, it, it wasn't from the military base. Tell you the truth, the bombs here are all fakes! Please wait. I, I know that already. You should have said so earlier. No. I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just telling... I'm just now telling you for the first time. I feel s relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then brought it from the octagon. Well done. I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. Yeah. Let's try it. That is... Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Monokuma's a camp. Hell yeah. Uh, Datakuma. Let's go. Break room. Between the fire, anything inside, nothing on a foil. Let's take blue, not even trash. Well, oh, fuck me. Sleep here, I can't. It has Monokuma's account. Looks like there's nothing there in the plushie factory. So I have a few places to go to. Nagato's room. Nezumi Castle. There's Nezumi Castle. And, um, wait a second. Fuck. I don't know why I didn't just run to the left, but whatever, who cares. Um, Island the Four is Nezumi Castle. Spears is missing. Oh, hello there. Fear of a flash you are not, is hanging from the wall. The spear is definitely it, right? I see. Just like I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagato. The same whip like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also, this looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. How the fuck did they reach it, though? Hm. No mistaking it, the killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gungnir, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not upset at all. At all? What are you going on about? Are you upset? No, you. Why did killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. You could just kill him with a knife. It would have been easier too. You know, a spear like this with the unnecessary cord thing would be easy to use. It definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose a spear, or spear for a reason. What could that reason be? I feel like I'm taking a spear from you. A spear like that is inconvenient all over and pain the ass to carry around, so why did they bother using it in the first I place? See. Maybe the spear is actually used for torture, too. Torture, huh? Sick of walking right now. Let's 
So let me just do this. Why is it checking Nagato's room on that side? Um. Oh, hey! Check the military base also, probably. Yeah, I need to check. I forgot to check the military base. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'm annoyed. What happened? I'm annoyed. What are you annoyed about? I want to rescue Nagato's cottage, but I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I don't really understand, but you can't rescue Nagato's cottage. Maybe I should try investigating Nagato's cottage. Yeah, what a shocker. It's locked. Apparently, I can't go inside fakes of that. I'm annoyed. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go investigate another area. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna look for Monokuma. He might open it for us. Now let me know when we can go inside. Yeah, I got it. Fucking son of a fuck. I knew that many people left so Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Even guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but if you're on this island, you can do that. Oh, I... Shocker. Not very helpful there. Okay. Uh, truck! Should I try looking through the truck bed? It's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there's something on the truck that which means Sonya was telling the truth. And I suspect that the bombs have disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. Did Nagata know the bombs were real? Possibly he thought that they were the real thing. Never mind, he says much in the video message. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagato only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. Tank. Okay. Bombs are fake, then this might be fake too. I'm not brave enough to check for myself. That dreadful helicopter, the one to execute Teru Teru. Doesn't have anything to do with the incident. Oh, this thing is a different truck. We should probably have guns and other firearms stuff into the truck bed. Whoa! Ah, found it! What'd you find? Well, the truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival knife. Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that was... Stabs through Nagato's right hand. Maybe. Which means the killer that the killer obtained that knife here. Right. The killer someone who visited the military, military base at least once. That's everyone though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. Feeling a strange feeling that I've never felt before. 
As if Nagato is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. Or after he's dead. Not after he's he is died. Fuck me, I'm so stupid. Well now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. What's this? I want to go inside Nagato's room too. Hajime. What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagato's cottage. She really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do it while licking my black eye. I don't think she did that. I didn't do that. Boy, didn't do it. Loud. It's sweet because it's made of black beans. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and open, unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I gotta do that, right? Now then. See, so you've opened a door, you can freely investigate now. This is my first time seeing that, but why is the door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. Hey, hey. More important, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. He stole, um, he stole the box from, uh, Monami. Very cool. I was he thinking about his room. What was he feeling as he spent his days here? Can't even imagine. Why don't you see absolute hope? Becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. No matter how much I think of that, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe that clue might be hidden here as well. Box! Fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. There's a there's a Monokuma in the bathtub! Uh, could this be? Can you, let, can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. That treasure box. Jack, do you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she's just reacting. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagato. Why would Nagato steal this? In order to find out. Might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know. If this wasn't important, Nagato wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned back toward the treasure box and ca cautiously opened the lid. Inside there was a notebook. This is it. Why is there a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children. Entries that looked like chicken scratch. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Yakia became the blank everyone. Oh god, yeah, fuck trying to read that shit. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and turned things bad. Day two, Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone is tired. What is this, a diary? Looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably, these pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day 3, day 4, day 5, page after page of poorly written entries continued on in this notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. Ryan was about to give up, and suddenly stopped on an entry called Day 16. Day 16, we've been in the funhouse for three days, everyone hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because nobody believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, there's nothing. Stop it! Don't, hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Well, 
I don't know where Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you. I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If I had come any later, you would have seen inside the notebook. <sighs> Fortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if this notebook is here, um, then Nagato is the thief? No. Betrayal! That was betrayed by my beloved student! Hey, hey. The notebook is pretty much your diary, right? Mm -hmm. The diary? Um, um, it seems that way. That's right, it's my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey! Hey, hey, you're a liar! Oh, you always show up out of nowhere. Who are you? Monami, it's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. <laughs> After all, Monami can't even write! Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. Uh I can finally write to <laughs> That's wrong. No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. See? Bullseye. I know, because I'm the same way, too. Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? That's what this is about. Seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma was said true? Hmm? Huh? She didn't write in the notebook, is that true? If so, who wrote in it? Um... Well, you know, it's, um, how, how should I put it? Bye-bye! Excuse me! Hold on! Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. Same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try getting answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. All right, back to Monokuma. Oh, books arranged here. Did Nagato bring these from the library? In addition to the books, there's a bunch of random crap stuffed onto the shelf. Mm -hmm. Might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through all the, through that stuff. Hey, hey. Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. No, I want my Monokuma! Yes! Bed that comes to college. It looks like the one in my room, but hey, hey. maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like I have no such thing hidden under my bed. What? I don't even have under my bed. Can... Oh yeah, that's where I throw all my garbage. <laughs> well, you should still check just in case. Nights have changed. That thing I peeked under the bed end. There's something here. Plastic bag from the supermarket. Looks like there's something inside. What? What is this? Looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. You look like the real deal. Did he get this from the military base? Gas mask and rubber gloves. He's hiding these under his bed. What did Nakato use this stuff for? Hajime. Anything else under the bed? Let's see. Peeking her bed once again, started looking around the area where I found the supermarket bag and there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminum. A round, thin piece of aluminum, huh? So much of those seals that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? Might be too soon to declare that. The refrigerator. Huh? Nice, my cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nagato probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? 
Uh, talk with Jackie. I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. <laughs> there isn't really much inside besides Monokuma special poison for poisoning use only. The only thing inside the refrigerator is a brown bottle. Someone who likes cold drinks it doesn't look like he's stocked very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? Check the brown bottle out of the fridge and start reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is... Yeah, looks like it's poison. Poison? Look, there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. Be careful of that bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it if you if you worry like that. I'm going to get nervous. Ooh. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though it's... Volatility is low. This liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. The gaseous state is heavier than air and breaks down in minutes. It is susceptible to hydrolysis. So it is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Mm. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagato get something like this? Yeah. That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel, too. Why did the bomb? See? There should be a reason, to, reason Nagato was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon side, funhouse. Poison must have brought it with him from there, too, right? Perhaps. He's probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. Oh. He's hiding a bomb in poison during the class trial. Oh. She's how dangerous. What do you have done if you accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. What about this poison? I mean, what's he going to do with it? Hmm? Looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Oh, he's been, so he's been using it. Was it like this from the beginning? Where did Nagato use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagato, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? The structure looks like my room, the shower room is over there. Looks like there aren't any clues here. I guess all that's left is the, the bookshelf. Well, I haven't talked to Jack that in fact. Time for us to is winding down. The bookshelf might take some time to investigate, so we should try examining some other areas first. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, okay. Yep. What? what other areas are there? Window? I. I'm retarded. Basic layout is just like my cottage. There's nothing about this window that really catches my eye. Da da fuck! Well? I can't make them out whatsoever. They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? Mm. I definitely don't know much about Nagato just by looking at this. So what should we do? It would be really, it'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. Doesn't mean we should ignore it though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Better if a boy goes through another boy's things, you know. There might be private stuff here. Who fucking cares? It might be true, but so I'll leave the shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started moving the various books and items, examining each one. As I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Indeed, it's the school badge of Hope's Peak Academy. Does that have information about her stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Nagato said 
This only contained information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. Open a file held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, then why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought Nagato had lied to me. Aside from my information, there's information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Okane, and Sonya. Everyone who died, the pages of information... Pages of information about them, too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie, too. Turn to page containing my information and begin reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height, and weight, and so forth. There's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words, reserve course student. There's no denying it. It was confirmed that I was true. I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Hey, hey. How'd you make something happen? Oh well, I just found a strange file. Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. Not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are here are in here too. Nagato was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? It's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Jockey leaned against me appeared into the file. I'm sorry, I, I like taking screenshots of this game because I, I think the artist is good. The profile, the profile is really in here. Fuck off! I was reading. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Damn, it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Hold on. Huh? What happened? I I just noticed it right now, but the file. His name isn't in there, right? Byakia. There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing. It's B it's gonna be Byakia, right? Mm -hmm. Who are you talking about? Byakia. I'm talking about Byakia Togami. Mm hmm. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you might... You think he might be the traitor? Well, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. That's the only reason why I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? Well... Participated is a strong word. More like forced, but whatever. For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life is totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? You're getting all riled up. How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Biakia for no that Biakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Biakia doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that! You know the answer just by looking through these profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turn back to the file. One by one, I start flipping through the pages, confirming the names. And suddenly, I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. Oh, ultimate imposter?
ultimate imposter. That's that Biakia's true identity. True identity? He was just a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent prodigy Biakia Togami. Fake? Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, even his age and gender is an unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> no, I'm not jealous of that at all. That person wasn't really Byakuya Togami. Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter when he was in than when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool. <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying to us the whole time? But still. But we couldn't help it. Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having a talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, the way your life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything except... Anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of what, whatever you want that life or not. <laughs> In that case, compared to the other ultimates, your life may be a little more liberating. What the hell? Anyway. I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right. So I'll tell you straight up. This revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth. Then... What was he trying to say to me at that time? What was... Who is Biakia? I can talk to others about my past. I suspect my, that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Based on the context, if I had to guess... No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. But if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be difficult if you were meeting him for the first... It'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. Sing. But since you guys went to Hope's Peak Academy, you should have already known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew. Jeez, a future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who is the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still don't know who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Well, obviously you you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Could it be? So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um. In fact, there are 16 profiles in there. Is what's wrong? Hmm. I mean. Traitor's a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct. It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagato, right? Hmm. Well, probably. <laughs> it was tripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted so much of your precious... You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure? Was that a wise it? decision? Time's up, you know. T time's up. Wait. Bye -bye. Excuse me for a moment. Fuck. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time, 
There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. So, this is the last one. Is it, though? Is it gonna be the last one? Uh... Okay, so... <laughs> I'll see you soon! The last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial. Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um. Monokuma seemed... I was gonna say that in a Monokuma voice, fuck me. Monokuma seemed anxious, anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? Something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on our time limit, this, definitely, this might definitely be the last one. Still. But I can't imagine that it's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Momokuma Momo 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 Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well, but still, it's not. It's also not a good idea to think about it too much. I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. The class trial for Nagato's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on the file. I still can't. I still can't see who killed Nagato. But still. We don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know. You're right, you're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's just a mystery that can't be solved alone. As long as everyone cooperates and works together. If we do that, things will turn out fine. I don't think next time will be the last part, but next time will be Class Trial 5. Uh, so... Yeah. Bit worried, not gonna lie. Don't know... I have... I mean, I have... There's a lot of ideas about who the murderer could actually be. This was part 20, neat. Alright, so next time... Let me do the Class Trial. I'm gonna take a little break myself. I was gonna do this all in one big part. Decided against it though. So yeah. I'm gonna do this later.